to the other 167. Greetings to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Today we've got Pastor and Dr. Thomas Uman from the Gateway Church who would bring the Word of God to us. Pastor Thomas is going to speak about self-control in the fear of temptation. If you're battling with any temptations, you need to confess that there is power in the name of Jesus. You need to know, in order to get rid of the temptations, you need to keep on praying. And to learn more about this, let's join in with Pastor Thomas. Hi everyone, welcome to the other 167, a page that will give you the resources to keep you engaged, equipped, and it will help you throughout the other 167 hours of the week, other than the one hour service on a Sunday morning. Greetings to you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I would like to dwell on the topic self-control in the face of a temptation. Let's see from the Bible portion, Luke uh, chapter 22, verses 39 to 44. Coming out, he went to the Mount of Olives as he was accustomed and his disciples also allowed him. When he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Now the backdrop of this instance is that uh, Jesus uh, was uh, about to go and pray on behalf of himself, his disciples, as well as all those who would believe in him. Because his, his, he knew that his hour had come. Any time from then, uh, the Roman soldiers and the Jewish elders would come and arrest him and then take him for crucifixion. And so as he was uh, praying there, uh, he, he asked the disciples to be on watch so that you know they would not fall into temptation but uh, uh, see it was it's human that you know sometimes we lose control over ourselves and disciples could not stay on uh, stay awake and what happened as each time he went at back he noticed that they were again asleep but the lord what he did was uh, while he was praying he said, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my, my, not my will, let yours be done. So uh, being so human and uh, though he was God himself, he showed that he had a human side also. The very thought that he would be captured, he would be humiliated, he would be tortured, he would be scourged and whipped. He would be spat upon, he would be nailed to the cross and that he would be stripped naked and that he would die a painful death on the cross. All these thoughts were literally crushing him from every side. But then he knew what was the plan of his heavenly father. He could have easily escaped from that situation. He was tempted to escape from that situation. But what he did was he said, not my will, let yours be done, Father. And then, because of the intense pressure that he was facing from every side, we read that his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. So according to um, uh, Bible researchers and medical experts, this is a particular uh, medical phenomenon called hematohydrosis, wherein uh, your, uh, your sweat along with your sweat, blood also will start oozing out from your sweat pores. That is because of the intense pressure and due to the intense pressure, the, 
the blood vessels which are supplying the sweat pores will begin to rupture and blood will come out of your sweat pores this is a this is an extremely rare condition but this happened with jesus and why did this happen this happened to to make sure that because he shed his blood there and if we believe that he shed his blood for our sake we can overcome any kind of temptation that comes our way every day each person is is trying to battle with several kind of temptations temptations like uh anger uh tempted by lust tempted by drugs tem- tempted by alcohol tempted by several other issues but each moment when you come across this situation if you believe in Jesus Christ remember the blood that he shed was for your sake and all that you need to do at that time is just say i plead the blood of jesus i plead the blood of jesus i i plead the blood of jesus there is power in the blood of jesus there is power in the shed blood of jesus and you will definitely exercise a, a definite control over the temptation thank you very much